Good morning. Today is September 6, 2022. And as you can see from the put position here, my rook has just taken a pawn here in front of the king and there's no support whatsoever. So this is uh, my brave rook sacrifice game. But before we continue, I'm going, as usual, show you three different position where you get to catch my move. This is move number one. The queen has just moved to b6. What is your answer? Okay, next move. Next puzzle. The pawn has just moved to c5. What is your answer? Last puzzle. The rook has just captured something at f8. What is the best move for white? Let's begin. So this is uh, a game that basically starts with a rather boring opening. So I'll just go through it very quickly. That's bishop opening. And I don't know what variation is that. I mean, I'm not really good at opening. This is the beginning of a unique move over here. This is actually questionable. The normal move would be to go here and then rook capture and queen capture. Or once the pawn move here, bishop goes here and pawn goes here. Of course, there's a opening here, like here. Pawn has already moved, so maybe king will not want to king castle over this side, depending. But since king has castled that side, so that's basically like oppo opposing castling. So what can basically just try to storm the king side over there and black try to storm the queen side. And it will come a race which one is faster. So anyway, let's keep moving. And this is basically trying to kick the bishop out of here from the center. Next move. Finally, I decided to kick the bishop there. Next move. And this is puzzle number one. The queen has just moved to b6. What is the best move? Well, as you can see, the queen is over here threatening the pawn and the bishop. Of course, the bishop can just go threaten back, so that's the best move. And there you go, that's the best move. That's the answer to the puzzle number one. Next move. Castling king, uh, castling queen side. Uh, as you can see, you know, that may not be ideal, but as this is open and rooks are very naturally positioned here, I'm okay with that. I'm okay by taking a slight disadvantage here at the queen side over here uh, with the exchange of attacking very strongly on the king. Next move. And this is a way to basically threaten the queen over here. And that's, you know, one way to do it. Next move. Rook goes here. So it goes here and basically just take that one, take that one, take that one, and then followed by 
this queen move here and I mean rook move here and it'd be a very strong attack here because the knight cannot go here so it's very strong attack by white and black has moved his pawn to c5 this is puzzle number two puzzle number two what is the best move and I have to say that I missed it because what the computer says is basically to just take the pawn here with the queen. As you can see, it threatens mate here, and the king cannot move anywhere. King cannot move anywhere. So, what can what black do over here? And just take it right like this over here again, you know, like. You basically cannot do anything over here. Let's say move here. Check there. Move here. And it's captured here. And remember this the piece of her here. So move here. Check there. Move there. And me. So the queen taking that pawn that is very powerful attack and black cannot defend properly against that but that's not what happened so so let's see where was I okay here it is push the pawn over here and this is my move yeah <laughs> not a good idea huh? because uh, the idea is for me to double up over the queen over here and attack that so that's a waste of tempo really i could should have just take the pawn over there and win next move and black fails to see the danger so this is what happened check king takes check uh, that's with the rook This is what happens over here and right now it looks like the watch attack has been blunted because now we have uh, two rooks over here that's ready to counter the pressure from this black rook and indeed it is rather difficult for me to attack black at this time so next move basically to stay away from this part because it's no longer viable to for me to attack the bishop with the rook. And this is very good because it prevents the queen from going there. And it's a good thing that black lost the queen over there. So right now the position is but equal. Uh, we have two rooks versus one queen and depending whether or not the rook can pair which you can by going this way and the, the rooks can make white's life to be very difficult but you have to balance that maybe black wants to save the bishop over here which is end price next move And that blocks the attack from the pawn while attacking this one and this one. And there you go. Bishop is lost because check and so that's it. Get free bishop. And the black has successfully paired the rook over here. So this is going to be problematic for me. And it's going to be rather difficult for me to handle. But at the same time, black does not 
pose a danger for me because I can always move my king over there. Next move. And I was wondering about this thing over here because there is no reason for me not to take this. Because if I didn't take it, it's going to be black, you know, may take this one or maybe postpone over here anyway. So why not just take it? Uh, black pawn here is isolated and it's about to be lost. Also. So that's a mistake over here for not taking it right here. Another thing right here, if I take this one and take this one, I can just do a check here and either here in order to save the pawn, which separates this thing again, or or we'll have to, or the king will go someplace else right here and the queen will just take it. So that's something else to consider. Anyway, we have this position. Check. And start attacking the rook. Check. And start pushing the pawn. And right now I can basically just capture the pawn over here. But I have the advantage of the first move. So this is going to be really tight over here, three, three squares here, three squares here, so it's going to be really tight. But I'm winning the, I'm winning the game really because this is my next move and well, <laughs> what are you going to do? Push the pawn? Suddenly I, I got a check right here. and rook takes queen and this is the third puzzle what is the best move now when I play this game this is what I did right here and black resign of course black resign I mean there's no way black can win the, the game and I have a lot of attacking position right here right here that, that one's gone and then Queen can move here and take here and take here and take here. After that, pawn goes here and what wins. So there's no way black can save the position right now. So black resign properly. So, but let's move. Let's move back over here this position. Here's a quiet move. Bishop goes here, and that's of course threatening mid over here. There's not no way. Uh, Black can handle it. If pawn moves here, just do it mid. So I cannot do it. If black blocks with the rook here, just do it and make the next move. No, cannot do it either. If rook goes here, bishop takes it and same position minus the rook and uh, the bishop over here. So same position. So what are you going to do? You can move to pawn. Just just smith. So you cannot move the pawn. So you move the king here. Bishop goes here. And the king cannot move because if the king move here, queen goes here mid. King move here, queen goes here mid. So promote the pawn, and sure enough, queen goes here check and mid. So that's what I should have done. I did not do that. I did this one instead. I still win, but this the, the this move would have been a lot more convincing win. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.